And so what we're hoping for is proactive differentiation. These little guys um, designed a bridge, kind of like we designed lesson plans. And then the bridge got built. And they're looking at it, and it's just not quite what they were envisioning. And one of them says to the other one, so much for winging it, Ed, next time we plan the bridge. Um, what we're talking about with differentiation that's proactive is that when we improvise or overlook student differences, the kids and the content often don't connect. So what we're trying to do is plan differentiation so that we're really looking at who are we trying to connect this content to and what are the various ways we can make it connect. Um, differentiation's trying to avoid this. And I suspect some of you have experienced this as students. And to be honest, I would have to say that I have inflicted this as a teacher, and I presume some of the rest of you have here as well. <laughs> um, that happens sometimes, of course, because kids are sleep deprived. But it also starts to happen, maybe not completely within two minutes, but when the kid realizes she's teaching me this stuff again and I've known it for two years. Or when the kid's going, oh gosh, she's saying that same stuff I didn't understand yesterday and she's right back in the middle of it again. Or I don't even know what that word means he's talking about and he's been talking about it for two days and kids just sort of zone out when the lesson isn't a good fit for them. One of my favorite definitions of differentiation came from a little middle school kid that I was interviewing and she said to me, um, she was talking to me about a class that was differentiated that she thought was really effective. And she said, I like this class because there's something different going on all the time. My other classes, it's like peanut butter for lunch every single day. This class, it's like my teacher really knows how to cook. It's like she runs a really good restaurant with a big menu and all. And that's not a bad way of thinking about differentiation. The teacher who has several things that can happen in the classroom so that there's different routes that kids can go to get where they need to, um, where you have the sense that the teacher is trying to nourish everybody, but they don't all have to eat exactly the same stuff at the same time to be able to get there.